good afternoon. Hello. I hope you can see me and you can hear me. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Hello, hello Janine, hello to all my good friends in Netherlands. Hello my beautiful Dutch people. I miss you in Ryzen. My, my camera, I think. Can you see me clearly? Hello, 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 dear Jill. I can see now. Hello, Miriam. Hello, Anneke Karin. Everybody miss you in Ryzen. In October, I'll come again. You are s such uh, amazing people. The Dutch people, I love you so much. And thank you for all your support uh, to my work. Λίγο θολά, ε. Για να δω, μήπως stay one minute to see if my camera has a problem. Now is better. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the project, uh, the two projects we are going to make in October. This is the first. It's a panel in which we learn to, to paint with gesso and uh, pearl colors. Pearl colors and uh, metallic colors. This, uh, this one has uh, amazing te techniques. It's a very nice panel. This is the first. And I put the camera down so you can see better okay and i'm gonna show you and the second project the photo album these two projects we are going to make in october in heisen huh? okay so i put the camera down to see better the project, okay? So, let's see if it's okay. Facebook had a, had a problem tonight and I hope the problem with the Ah, uh, now you can see clearly, I think. Eh? Hello, Viola. Hello, hello. Hope to see you all in October. So, let's show you the project. So, this is the first one. As I show you the panel. Okay. Thank you, Trusen. That's better, yes, yes, I can see. So, here we have stencil, gesso, uh, colors, pearl colors, metallic colors. We have metal metallic flakes, molds, uh, a, compo a mixed media composition with the butterflies. We have a lot of uh, a lot of things to see here. 
uh, using Finaber pro products and Pentart products, of course, okay? So this is the first panel and the second. It's this ladybug, it's all made by stone paper. And uh, when it, uh, yes, it's from stone paper, all the ladybug. And when you open becomes a photo album. It's a nice idea in which you can make more of this, of the separation. And here that I have the roses, you can glue photo or you can put inside here your photo. Uh, we are going to work uh, with the studio light uh, scrapbooking papers. And uh, I, we are here again, we are going to make a leather affair uh, with different colors, uh, with stone paper. We have stencil on the side. Uh, this photo album, it's a nice idea if you wanted to create something and uh, for example, you, you travel and you have uh, photos uh, from your uh, trip. You can do that and put uh, your photos and your memories. Or uh, uh, there is uh, someone uh, get married. You can do that and put the photos of the marriage. And uh, or uh, if someone baptized his baby child. You can do that for, uh, for this reason. Or you can do that to offer as a gift to a friend. It's a nice because when you close, looks like a woman bag, okay? A lady bag. You can keep it in from here. And I think it's a nice project with scrapbooking paper, mixed media techniques. Uh, here we are going to work with Pentart and the studio light paper. This paper I used, the roses, is, is from uh, another uh, company, but in, uh, in Netherlands we can work uh, with a very beautiful scrapbooking paper from uh, the collection of Janine, the studio light, okay? So these are the two projects we are going to make in October, and I hope to see you the most of the people uh, in October. I love Ryzen uh, and the people. We had very na uh, beautiful times with all the people. And uh, I, I would like to thank Gerdi because uh, the invitation to Netherlands begins from G Gerdi. And uh, of course, Janine and her mother that invite me uh, to Heisen uh, for uh, classes. Now, tonight, I'm gonna show you some mixed media techniques using the collection of uh, Jenny, the studio light. When I visited the Netherlands, I discovered uh, this beautiful collection and the Greek people can see. And uh, if you like, you can order from uh, the Hobby Vision group, uh, the, the site. These are very beautiful stencil from this brand. Tonight I think I'm gonna use one of these. And of course there are very beautiful scrapbooking paper with a lot of details and uh, we have flowers, we have a lot of things. So let's make something. Hello, Rihanna, how are you? Miss you, miss you so much. Look how beautiful papers. So we choose something from inside here and we are going to work to create something mixed media and vintage and beautiful affair. And here we have uh, scrapbooking uh, details, beautiful details. You can see. So Studio Light is the name. 
uh, it's the collection of Jenin and the people from other uh, countries you can order from the site of uh, Hobby Vision. There are a lot of things, there are beautiful um, uh, journal uh, for physics, there are a lot of beautiful uh, things, stamps, very beautiful stamps. I, I, to be honest, I didn't know about the collection of Janine, and when I saw inside the show, I, I get crazy. I, love, I like very much. So, first of all, let's start to show you what I'm going to do. Put the album on the side, and let's choose a stencil in which we are going to work. I think I'm going to work with this one. You are amazing people. I love you so much. So, I have around them uh, MDF uh, wood. Yes, Rihanna, it's a very beautiful collection. Janine, how are you? I love your collection. So, I don't paint something. I'm going to, to work directly with stencil and the modeling paste by Pentart. The one that I told you during the class that it's a very 3D and uh, dry very quickly. And I put the stencil in the middle and I have and I have stencil here I make stencil only in the middle and I continue on this side also. Okay. So one minute to clean the stencil and I'm coming back. So, this is ready, the stencil, I'm going to dry, the products of Pentart indeed are, has, have a very good quality and uh, very good price, okay. And I'm happy that you like uh, all in, ne in uh, Netherlands. 
we have <coughs> so something just for copy vision we have new products from Pentart very beautiful products I have here I cannot show you now <coughs> I have here and try them I can show you what I have done till now <coughs> It, it's not finished, but uh, I'm working on it these days. It's not finished. When I finish, I post it to see. So, in October, I'll present during the classes the new products from Pentart, especially for Hobby Vision. You ha you'll be the first one, okay? <clears throat> I'll work with these products in uh, USA in September and the second after in Europe you'll be the first one you are going to see these new products are amazing products you are going to love them and you'll be the first that uh, I'll present maybe during the class I'll make also an example to see how work this new product. So, dry, uh, one minute to dry. And now, the second step is to paint with two lazur gel. The lazur are uh, colors acrylic, transparent, with strong pigment, in which uh, if you paint a wood, uh, the wood take the color of the lazur and stay, you can see the shapes of the wood inside. They are uh, water-based, uh, uh, transparent, and this is the gel uh, lazur, but also the lazur there is in liquid form. If you remember, this is the same, but liquid, okay? This one, you can add the spray and spray with the lazur, the liquid one. If you remember, we make the leather affair in uh, in uh, last uh, workshop with the uh, liquid lazur. The product uh, of Pentart and the uh, Pentart is a Hungarian company uh, that uh, produce uh, products for uh, uh, craft and they are also the, the company that uh, create also uh, products uh, for other companies like Prima Marketing and Stamperia. But uh, Pentart is a Hungarian company from Budapest. So, with a soft brush, I'm going to use the Lazur Walnut and the Lazur Chestnut. I combine the two together, okay? Hello, hello everybody. Hello my beautiful Dutch people, I love you. You are amazing people. So I'm going to paint with the Lazur Walnut. Mixed with Lazur Chestnut, okay? You can see us drying 
we can see the the good. The as I told you, they are transparent. They they don't they don't cover the good. Of course, you cannot uh, use them. You cannot have a beautiful result if you use them um, in uh, in a MDF. So I spray a little water because the water blend the two colors together. Okay. Okay. So it, I mix the lazur walnut with lazur gel chestnut. Okay. I love the lazur a, lo a lot because we can make a lot and different effect. We can have the leather effect, the vintage effect, we can make the youth effect. Okay, as drying my uh, round panel, I can say, let's choose from the scrapbooking which paper I'm going to use. I love this collection, Janine. I love very much. Yes, uh, uh, I can uh, do that also with the Lazur, uh, uh, the liquid one. But be I show you the liquid one when I came to Netherlands, and I wanted tonight to show you also how works the the Lazur gel. And uh, now. Uh, okay, let's. Do something. Let me find something to to show you. Uh, something in wood. Okay. So I'm going to make you an example to see the difference, okay? This is a good. So, I have the lazur. Let's find the lazur walnut, the liquid one, okay? So, apply the liquid one. and paint the wood, okay? Hope. Don't destroy my beautiful papers. So this is the lazur, the liquid one, okay? And here you can mix. You see, as drying, you can see the shapes of the wood. Simply the wood take the color of the, of lazur. So this is the liquid one. Now, what we can do with lazur uh, gel? The first one we can do is stencil. So let's take a stencil. Okay. And I, I need a palette knife.
and one minute to take an open color of Lanzur gel. Uh, maybe a white one. Yes. Okay, so look the difference. Lazur, we can gel, we can do stencil and mix colors. And have the result. This is the first difference, something we can do with lazur uh, walnut, uh, gel, with lazur gel, sorry. And what else we can do? Let me clean the stencil. Okay, so let's, let's uh, dry first. And now, what else you can do with Lazur uh, gel? I'm gonna add a little Lazur, for example, uh, here, a little Lazur gel. Something we can do something that we can work very, very nicely uh, in our project. Ah, maybe I'm going to show you in the clock I, I create to understand better here. So, um, I, I will take an angle brush, okay, and uh, a kitchen towel, a kitchen paper, I don't know. So, take a little water and with the nose I take lazur walnut and create beautiful shades. Look. And your project will look very vintage and very beautiful. It's something, especially in the new techniques uh, that are very popular lately, the techniques we call brocante, we use a lot of lazur gel or lazur liquid to the end to create beautiful shades. So this is something more we can do with lazur. Okay, look. Look here the result. Okay. Also, for example, I can do a little lazur to my stencil to, to make it look more 3D. Okay. Can you see? to give a, a depth in my stencil. This is what we are going to do to the end with Lazur. Look the stencil now, down there with the Lazur gel, how 3D looks like. It's like, uh, it's, it's like to paint. Huh? Look here. I told you this project is not finished yet. Okay. This is what you, you can do with lazur gel and lazur liquid. The liquid is only for a fair. 
and is uh, also for uh, uh, to paint uh, something wooden and give uh, and give the color uh, to the wood. Okay. So let's go back to what we create together. Look now in the lazur gel stencil, how it looks like. You can blend a lot of colors together and have a very beautiful result. And let's find which paper I'm going to use tonight from the collection of Janine. Ah, no, this is this album I need. Sorry. Good and Avant. Yes, looks like paint, Leah. Indeed. Oh, beautiful paper, beautiful paper, beautiful papers. Janine, you are amazing. This is nice. This is no, no. Ah, this one is nice with the cut and the lady. So let's go back here. And what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut. my scrapbooking paper okay so i need the cut and the flower up here so this is nice and to the other side i'm gonna add the lady mm. So I need the lady here. I need the lady here. And maybe something more. Let's see. Yes, I like this collection very much. I told you, Janine is amazing. Ah, we can add something from the other albums. So, let's begin. So, I want the cut here, a little down here. Okay, so I'm using hobby glue. You can use also uh, heavy body gel. You can use one glue that I see that uh, Janine has in the shop and I forgot to take a very beautiful that uh, Rihanna had this glue. I was searching this glue a lot of uh, period and I see that Janine had in her shop. In October, I'll buy this glue. So, I want here the paper and glue. And maybe no. No, it's okay. It's okay. So glue my paper nicely. Okay. And this one. Hobby glue, it's a very nice water-based glue from Pentart. I use a lot. 
in my mixed media techniques and uh, scrapbooking techniques okay and the lady here okay so glue very well okay okay and now I will cut the rest of the paper. Let's help a little. Okay. And to the other side also. my scrapbooking papers very well okay and now to protect my work and especially the scrapbooking papers because I'm going to work on them I will add you can add varnish a water-based varnish or you can add the clear gesso from Finaber it's a very nice product for these techniques and give also a matte finish not a, a very glossy finish so take clear gesso and add on the scrapbooking paper so after I can work nicely on the paper, okay? And uh, in this way, if I make stencil or uh, if I add the colors, my uh, scrapbooking paper are protected and uh, doesn't have problem to damage, okay? So clear gesso or you can add uh, or you can add a, a varnish or any clear gesso you have from any brand this is a very nice product from Finaber for the scrapbooking uh, papers and now I'm going to make a composition on the top. I will dry a little. Oop. Now, I choose one mold from uh, Finaber. Here, need a little glue.
I need this glue from Hobby Vision. So, I don't want to cover the lady. Okay, so I put here my mold. And let's see what else I can add. I need something like this and I can cut it. I can cut it here. This is a, an elastic product. So we can put something here and this one we can add it here okay and then we can choose let's see let's choose a photo for uh, I need a photo, a photo, a photo for my mold. And I think, oh, I lose you, lost you, okay? Oh, you write that. And I don't know what you you write. Okay. Let's see. No. I like this one. Hmm. Let's have. This one. Okay. So let's make a couple, a man and a woman. Yes, this is nice. So I need to cut it here, here, here. Okay. And now I'm going to paint this uh mold with the chalky collection for the pentart. Hello Magdalena. This is the color uh, from the chalky collection of pentart, the chestnut brown. Okay. And I'm going to paint directly my, my molds they don't need uh, uh, these are made with resin of two component it's a resin that dry very quickly in 10 minutes it's a very nice resin and also this resin if you add the second compo the second uh, as I told you, has a bottle A and B. If you add the, from the B uh, the 50% of, uh, of material, the mold, uh, when dry, is elastic and stay elastic. This mold is from Finaber collection. I think uh, uh, Janine 
has all the mold from uh, uh, Finaber in her shop. The shop has everything. Finaber and Pentat and Deco Art and the, uh, the one, the Lindis. The Hobby Vision is a paradise, it's not a craft shop. Uh, the mother of Janine is Elsina, eh? correct? I say correct the, the name. We had such a great time in May. And uh, you know something, uh, the last day before uh, I stay in Amsterdam, because I wanted to see also Amsterdam. Reason, I like much more Amsterdam. Reason is a very beautiful place. More beautiful than Amsterdam. Amsterdam was dirty. A Ryzen was a paradise. Okay, if you want uh, to propose me a nice apartment, I can come to Ryzen forever to stay and become also from Greek. Dutch, huh? I like the reason. Reisen, Reisen, not the reason. But Gerdi told me that in uh, in the city they call Reisen, Reisen also. The people from this area. October, October, I'll be with you again. I'm so happy. Okay, so I paint my molds with a chestnut decor paint soft. Yes, it's a paradise. Greece, except these days that it's very hot weather. Very, very hot weather. I'm inside the house, I don't go out. Okay, and now, so what colors I have, I have chestnut, I have this, it's vintage, the style, so uh, I'm gonna choose to the end what color, okay, so I'm adding again hobby glue. the photo let's turn to fix it nicely I want it here here it's okay okay and press it. I will press with a baby wipe, first clean my hands and then push with a baby wipe up, okay, 
to glue nicely and then take the rest of the glue from inside okay so let it dry a little and then we continue take off in my elastic and let's continue our work so here I need a little cut Okay, and now take my panel, add again my photo, okay, so I want, I can see the lady. And now I'm going to use heavy body gel. Where is heavy body gel? Here. Ah, yes, Anneke. It's a paradise, Hobby Vision. Jill, you must come in Netherlands to see Hobby Vision. You get crazy. She has everything inside. You need a big suitcase to buy stuff from Hobby Vision. So, adding heavy body gel. Okay. And then, also heavy body gel in this uh, white elastic. This is something from Greece. It's a baroque element, white and elastic, and you can add it to the project. It uh, looks like, if you know the... Um, the elastic hood but are from a material this material that it's white and elastic and there is in a lot of uh, colors okay and this one they are very flexible and you can uh, use them in the project very nicely yes Jill you must come it, it's not only Hobby Vision, very beautiful shop, it's uh, the, the city very beautiful. Okay, and now again, I take off the excess of the heavy body gel. Okay. And now I continue my co my composition. Let's see what else I can add. I have here an album with uh, small photos. Let's see what I can do. Or I have some small. Uh, elements here. No. I can add something like this or something like this. Maybe here. Huh? Yes. 
This is nice. And this one here. And then on the top, what else we can add? Okay, let's see. I have a lot of stuff from Finaber, so we need a smaller one. We'll find uh, something smaller. Okay, this one I like here. Okay, and then no, here it's okay. This is very big. Hmm, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. No, I don't like them. So anyway, we will try to create a nice composition. Ah, I have flowers. So I have beautiful flowers, I want some vintage. Mm. Colors, colors, colors. Okay, so I will add two flowers here. Okay. And one sponge. No sponge something like that okay let's see what we can do quickly Jill you, you see and Gerdy and uh, she's a very nice lady Ah, in Ireland that I went uh, last month, Jill, I met, uh, I met Cynthia from Canada. She's a very nice lady, very, very nice lady. We were, we were together to finish up her classes. So, I'm going to add something like this also. So, the flowers will go up there. And I add also a sponge here, okay, and this to make it more vintage or something like this. Uh, maybe with color and uh, I'm gonna take now the lazur walnut. I need a little glue it here. Okay. And now I, I will take I put water uh, in my brass, take lazur walnut and make my paper more vintage here 
So let's take Lazur. So let's have this is okay. So I will take Lazur gel and I, I'll create my sage to the paper and now you can see I can work because I, I used the clear gesso. I'm working with Lazur very nicely on the top of my scrapbooking papers, okay? And give a nice and vintage result. You see directly the paper how change. So when your brush, uh, you feel that it's empty of color, you add a little, uh, it's dry, your brush, your angle brush, you add a little water, and then you work with lazur very easily. Now, what else you can do? Here I need a little glue. Yes, and I hope to someone invite me again in UK because I love so much and the ladies from UK. You remember Jill, we had very nice uh, workshop with uh, Dali, with uh, Joanne in Wales. We had such a, nice, a good time before COVID in UK. And the people in UK are very nice and love crafting. The Dutch ladies that are now inside the group uh, just to inform you that the lady from UK that is now in the group, Jill Humphrey, she is uh, also a member of the international team of Pentart. So what else you can do? You take the primer from cracking paste, this one. All the paste, the cracking paste of Pentart and all the cracking products need, uh, before the cracking paste, need the cracking primer. So, you take the cracking primer and you add in some spots in your uh, project the primer. For example, here. that end the paper, okay? And to the other side. So you add the primer and maybe up here a little. To see how it can work on the scrapbooking paper now easily. Here. And maybe a little here. Okay. So I'm adding the cracking primer and wait to dry. I will dry now.
And now, in some spots, I can use the cracking paste. Cracking paste, cracking paste. So this is the cracking paste by Pentart, and as I told you, first we add the primer and then we will add the, the paste. Take a small pallet knife and adding to the end of the paper, okay. And I'm going just a little inside that paper. Okay. Okay. And up here, I can add just a little. Okay. And the same here. Hello Mary, how are you? Mary, I was in Ireland before uh, two weeks ago to find better classes in Athlon. If I remember well, no, the cracking paste from Pentart, this one that I'm using now, it's, a, it's white. Okay, so you add the cracking paste in this way. And then the cracking paste will dry and cracks. The cracking paste uh, uh, desirates uh, white from Pentat, but has also the metallic one, has metallic cracking paste that are very nice. As you can see, the paste cracks immediately and gives very beautiful cracks. Yes, we had amazing days in Athlon with, with Anna. Anna is a fantastic teacher. Okay, and now that the paste cracks, to make it more vintage, first of all, I'm gonna give a color, a nice color, on my molds. And I'm gonna use something that I like very much. And this is the rose gold patina from Pentart. It's my favorite one. And I'm 
I'm gonna take a little rose gold patina and give a light to my mold. It's a very nice color, the rose gold, very vintage. And you can see it's very close to the color of the scrapbooking paper and the collection. Okay, look the color. It's the rose gold. And now, the cracking paste cracks, you have two, uh, two ways, two, two things we can do. The first one is works again with lazur walnut. Or, if you want more vintage your work, you can work with the Antiquin Gel, the Brown, or the Umbra one. It's a water-based product from Pentarte that we use to aging the, pro the project to the end and uh, have the same uh, result as using oil color like Van Gogh colors to make more vintage the project but uh, this one is water-based so you don't have to the end to clean your brush and what you are doing o already we had clear gesso so that's why now we can work nicely so I'm taking with the brush the antiquin gel go inside my paper and to my craquelet and then take a baby wipe and remove the excess You can see my paper doesn't have problem because I had the clear gesso. And look the vintage result. Look how is the paper in the beginning and how looks like to the end. Of course, you can remove as more as you like. Leave the, ed the edges more... Uh, uh, darker okay so i'm doing the same here the antique gel there is in a lot of colors and also give a color to my uh, to my cracking paste and the result is more vintage Always change your baby wipe to a clean area to when you remove, okay? Okay, need a little light here. And also adding the antiquing gel here. You see how nicely works all the product by Pentart and what a nice and vintage result give to us. Okay. Look how change the project and becomes more vintage, the cracking paste. And also, if you wanted to do something more, you can take a stencil 
let's see, let's see, let's see, I think this one. And you can take the icing paste by Finaber, for example, the rose gold icing paste. There is similar uh, in Pentact uh, that we call stencil paste. Okay. But I need also light, so I need something lighter. Okay. So what I'm going to do, we can choose from the stencil some something something make flower flower. Let's see, let's see which one, not this one, not this one. Oh, I haven't this. Yes, you can do that on the top. So I need I need uh, a palette knife again. Palette, palette, palette knife. And what you are going to do? You take the white gold. And the rose gold together, and you can make stencil in some spots on your project. And let's do also the same here. So this is the icing paste by Finaber, the one I used, the white gold and the rose gold. And look, the stencil, how nice looks like now. We can work very nice on the top of our scrapbooking paper and do a lot of things. Look the icing paste. And now, you, you know, all the scrapbooking paper looks... I cut it in the middle, I made stencil on the background, but all together now looks like one thing. Okay. So I will add some flowers here, a ribbon, uh, you can add a lot of other things and casting metallic or I don't know uh, and make a beautiful composition. I will finish this one and post in the group to see. I hope that gives you some nice ideas and inspire you how you can work with Pentart and Finaber products. Both are amazing and very, they have a very nice result. Okay, so we'll have, uh, I speak with Janine, we'll have another live, uh, I don't know when uh, Janine won't, uh, to show you another technique, uh, maybe we can show you the UTFE next time, or the Vintage FE, with how we can do Vintage FE uh, with the Lazur. I don't know. Uh, we'll find the technique. Also the Utefe, it's nice. Or uh, we can work uh, on the top of a cotton... Uh, Monique! Hello Monique. You're right, but I, I was working and I, I didn't see all your comments. So, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching my live. 
this is what we create tonight and we are going to finish and post it. It's something nice that you can hang on your wall. Okay. So, thank you for the live. It was very nice. And thank you, Desiree. Thank you, everybody. So, have a nice uh, weekend. Creative one. I will finish the the project uh, with the new products by Pentad. Ah, and I, po and I post it. Uh, be safe. Be creative. Hello, Louise. How are you? Louise, I miss classes. I want classes to UK. Let's organize something in UK. Okay. So, thank you, Janine. Thank you, Hobby Vision. Thank you, all the Dutch people. Thank you, Getty. Have a nice uh, weekend. A lot of kisses from the hot Athens. We have a 40 degrees. Uh, so, bye-bye. Good night.